No more knocks on the door in the middle of the night and no more breaking down the doors by the religious authorities investigating reports of Kalwat or other alleged wrongdoings. Instead, Minister in the Prime Minister's Department, Datuk Dr. Mujahid Yusuf Rawa, insisted what Muslims do behind their own closed doors and in their house is none of the government's business. Uh, during the BN era, the ministry uh, has always been seen as a moral guardian. Do you intend to keep the ministry as that or do you intend to do away with that role? Well, that all sums up into how you define the moral guidance is. I have many times been uh, consistent in my understanding that you would have uh, two premise of your moral issues. One is the uh, personal spheres, which is individual. One is your public spheres. I would believe that every Muslim, or non-Muslim for that matter, should have a strong and clear moral uh, principle. Uh, but then again, in as far as governance is concerned, uh, we clearly define that line between personal spheres, individual spheres, and the public spheres. So if, let's say, you commit something within your personal and individual sphere, I do not interfere. Although it could be to my standard that that is wrong. The consumption of, of uh, alcohol, for example. Uh, for a Muslim, it is wrong. But if you consume it within your individual space, then uh, as, a government, uh, as a government, I do not interfere with that. My concern is when that public, uh, or when that, uh, that, that personal spheres uh, encroach into the public spheres, where then there is a concern of uh, sensitivity, there is a concern of maybe some uh, legal problem or criminal problem, then the government comes in. Not because we want to, uh, uh, what they call, to be a moral police, as they like to use it. Not because of that, but because we want to, uh, to, to, to secure the public uh, spheres rather than the individual spheres. But if you say something about moral policing, you're talking about interfering into the public sphere, which we do not intend to do. Dr. Mujahid, who is in charge of Islamic religious affairs, admitted he was facing an uphill task, changing the image of the ministry as the moral police. He had to fight fire from the moment he stepped into his office from dealing with lesbian, gay, bisexual and transgender LGBT issues, underage marriage, public caning in Sharia courts and sexual abuse in Tafe schools. In an exclusive interview with The Star, Dr. Mujahid said that he was trying to change the mindset of what he described as conservative religious civil servants who wanted to uphold the sanctity of Islam with their own understanding. He has put his foot down that the Islam he intended to uphold was compassionate for all or rahmatan lil alamin, both for Muslims and non-Muslims. We want to narrate as a government and as a minister in charge uh, Islam that you have just asked is, our Islam is, uh, Islam is compassionate to everyone. That will translate into our policy, that will translate into all uh, the judiciary, Islamic judiciary activities. It will translate all our uh, relation with other faith. And I think uh, the compassionate Islam that we aspire in, in our country is uh, that Islam that negates any form of literalist interpretation of Islam and at the other end also negate this, uh, the, the supraliberal that actually uh, would define Islam in a very uh, different framework. So I think being uh, Rahmatan Lil Alamin or the compassionate Islam uh, would be um, protecting all the different views that we have but at the same time also making sure that all these views and ideas do not harm the bigger interests or importance of national unity and uh, harmony among different, different faiths. Mujahid also condemned breaking down the doors to arrest Kalwat offenders and hoped it would be a thing of the past with reforms. And this, this issue of enforcement of what you call Khalwat um, has been misused 
not all of it, but there are issues or there are events where it has been ex uh, it has been exploited and misused, uh, miscarry their 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 justice to to those who commit sins. Uh, that is why uh, we are improving that situation today, and. It is important that they first adapt this uh, compassionate Islam as their policy and in doing their duty uh, have also to be uh, very careful and wary about not to interfere into the uh, individual space which I think today has reduced in, 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 in uh, think. and there is another issue for your information that when you talk about uh, enforcement of, of this Khalwat uh, uh, prohibition you would find that uh, it is within the state judiciary, not exactly under my uh, judiciary, because uh, we are bounded by the state legislation or authority and the federal authority. And most of the Islamic uh, uh, judiciary will come under the state uh, authority, not on my state. But we can have a platform where we will meet all the state uh, directors of Islamic uh, affair, where we can discuss and uh, share the concern of the federal government to all these issues. The vice president of Parti Amanah National hoped to do away with the Big Brother image and be inclusive of all Muslims or not.